the dentist, you might wonder, is this going to hurt? How much is it going to cost? And do I really need another x-ray? Here to answer her top 10 most frequently asked questions, please welcome back dentist Terry Alani. <laughs> All right, Dr. Alani. Let's start at number 10, and that is, mm -hmm. why do I need my fillings replaced? They don't bother me. We always think that there's not a problem if we're not feeling pain. Exactly. And, you know, we're a preventive profession, so most of the times, if you have a leaky filling, it's not going to hurt you. You might have some cold sensitivity. If it hurts, most likely you need a root canal, so we try to catch it before that stage. So a lot of fillings, especially the older silver fillings, mm -hmm. what happens is they corrode around the margins, so you get decay underneath them. So we visually will go in with an exam and we have a camera, we'll show the patients on our computer monitor why they need to be replaced. So you definitely need to have them replaced. Yeah, you said you're a preventive profession. We We're are. not necessarily preventive patients. Yes. We'll come in when there's pain, but we can avoid that if we exactly. just make sure we have regular checkups. All right, number eight and nine we're going to kind of put together. It is, my tooth needs a root canal is one, but I've heard horror stories. The other part of that is why not just pull it? All right, so uh, root canal and horror stories. All right, when George Washington was getting them, maybe so, but I got to tell you, I had one and I, you were done. Yeah, could, they're relatively painless now, but I will tell the audience, do not listen to your friends. <laughs> your friends, the patients come in and they go, oh, my neighbor told me this or my coworker and they had a root canal and they were in so much pain. It's relatively painless now. Um, we have, you know, techniques that really help allay the patient's fears and what have you, and you really want to save the tooth if you can. Um, another thing is, as you can see on this computer screen right here, that the patient has an abscess at the base of the tooth. Now, you would not see that without x-rays, and we'll get to that yeah. question. So, And what is an abscess? An abscess is when you have leakage from the nerve that goes in at the base of the root and it leaks out. So what it is, it's lack of bone. It's fluid oh, buildup wow. is basically what it is. And that's what causes the pressure buildup which causes the patient to have pain. Okay. So you also want to save the tooth. Um, basically, you want to uh, also put a crown on the tooth after the root canal is done. Okay, number seven. Am I too old to wear braces? I've heard people say that they really want straight teeth, but they're thinking, I'm too old to wear <clears throat> You're braces. You're never too old to wear braces. I wore braces in my 40s. That kind of tells you how old I am, older than that. <laughs> but I did. I wore braces as an adult, and you're never too old to have braces. Now, of course, we do Invisalign in our office, which are the clear trays, mm -hmm. so you don't have this metal mouth. But I did have a metal mouth, but being a dentist, it was okay. But um, there's a lot of different ways. That, but yes, you're not too old to have yeah, braces. Yeah, yeah, you're right. The Invisalign actually brought a lot of adults into exactly. the dentist office and say, okay, I can do that. All right, um, number six, when should I first uh, take my child to a dentist? Basically, that's very simple. When the eruption of their first baby tooth or a year old. And um, the only thing I can say is do not wait to take your child to a dentist when they're in pain because it's a traumatic experience. Yeah. Okay, number five, what's the best way to make my teeth wider. There's every toothpaste in the world that we see there. Exactly. We, you know, Grandma used baking soda. We have all kinds of different things to do. Okay. But. The best combination is the one hour in office zoom whitening with the whitening trays. That's your best combination. If you do not, make sure that you have that done at the dental office. Our um, techniques are a little bit more advanced, plus the materials are stronger, so they're going to whiten your teeth better. But you make sure that you have an uh, assessment by the dentist before you do that. For teenagers, you can actually do over-the-counter white strips. Yeah, and then on the, works. like the, I mentioned the baking soda, which we've heard for a long time, but you got to be careful because it be scratches careful. the enamel. Yes, it scratches the enamel. It can be very abrasive. Okay. Uh, number four, what can I do about my bad breath? Oh, we get asked that a lot. And you know, it's funny, we wear masks, so we really never smell the patient's breath. Yeah. But they come in and they're like this, oh, you can smell my breath. Okay, first of all, smoking and alcohol dries your mouth out, so obviously that's uh, not good for your breath. But uh, the main thing is, go to your dentist, make sure you get your cleanings done regularly because most of the time it's from gum disease. Mm. It's that charter and plaque in your mouth harbors bacteria that releases the odor. Also, it can be any medicines that you're on. Um, it can be uh, sinuses, acid reflux, any of those. The best mouthwash is anything with zinc chloride. I did notice that Listerine just took alcohol out of their ingredient, which is great because alcohol dries the mouth out. Oh, okay. Now back to that crown you mentioned earlier. Yes. Why do I need a crown? Can't you just fix it with the filling? Usually when a filling occupies two-thirds of the surface of the tooth, 
you want to protect it with a full coverage crown because replacing it with another filling might do further damage to the tooth. Okay, number two, why do I need x-rays when I don't have cavities? All right, as you can tell from this patient, basically we can only look at what's as far as when we look in the mouth, all we see are the teeth above the gum line. So you could have decay in between the teeth, which x-rays show, but more so, we want to detect any types of bone problems. Anything that, uh, if you have any gum issues, if you have any abscesses, cysts, that basically just looking clinically does not show us. Again, being preventive. Yes. And the number one most frequently asked question at Dr. Terry Alani's office is, Terry, are you going to hurt me? <laughs> Do I look <laughs> like I'm going to hurt you? No, that cost extra. <laughs> no. <laughs> That is the number one question. They look at you and they go, you're not going to hurt me, are you? Oh, yeah, sure, I am. No, first of all, you have to understand, most dentists don't like having their teeth worked on any more than you guys do. Um, we really try to allay the fears. We administer our anesthesia very slowly, so we have a really good technique that helps. And basically, the thing that I tell the patients, if you really have a lot of anxiety, please tell the staff. Tell the dentist, communicate with the dentist, and that basically puts the patient back in control because we're understanding. Our main purpose is just to make you feel comfortable when you leave the office, you have somewhat pleasant experience. Yeah. Another question you're oftentimes asked uh, is, why do you take my blood pressure? We're gonna find out a little bit later on in the show. A patient who came into her office, she took, she took their blood pressure, they ended up at the cardi cardiologist's office, and it may, Ha probably saved his life. So yeah. we'll talk about that a little bit later and on. And we take blood pressure because basically as dentists, we're not just looking at your mouth, we're looking at your overall health and your blood pressure affects the condition of your teeth and everything else. All right, Dr. Lonnie has a special offer. Call now and get $100 off Zoom teeth whitening. Plus the first 20 callers will get a complimentary exam and x-rays. The number is 713-621-5141. That's 713-621-5141. For more information, go to her website, texastoothlady.com. You can catch Dr. Terry and her brother, Dr. Wayne Alani, on their radio show, For Your Health. That airs on 6.50 a.m. every Tuesday at 1 p.m. Still ahead, getting rid of chronic pain by doing something as simple as stretching. But this is unlike any procedure you might have heard about in the past. And